My name is Manuel Villanueva, and I am the lead organizer with the Restaurant Opportunity Center of Los Angeles. You see, the cooks here in Los Angeles, they're like a little mafia. They all know each other, they refer to each other, they get each other jobs. But everything changed on March 15th. That night, the lights went out for all bars and restaurants in California. Nearly 80,000 establishments closed. It was devastating. The next day, we started getting calls from people saying, you know what, my employer is closing and they're not giving us our last paycheck. What's going to happen with our rent? Here in Los Angeles, where it's a very expensive city, a lot of the workers are one paycheck away from being homeless. Immigrants are often here by themselves and the jobs that have little to no protection The last week of March, we were working on a relief fund. It was a hard day of calling after calling, hearing stories after stories. Around 2 p.m., that's when I received the call from Antonio. He said, listen, I'm alone in my, in my apartment, and all I have in my stomach is food that I, that I got from a dumpster at a McDonald's close by, and I don't have any water. I've been drinking water out of the reserve from the toilet. And uh, uh, it was really hard to hear that. And that was the first, the first hard call that I got. This pandemic showed that everyone is vulnerable. My mental health, I remember the first month within the pandemic, I used to cry every night and fall asleep crying. Suicidal thoughts have definitely come up. And as a matter of fact, I, I made a video wheel a couple days ago. This is my video wheel. The purpose of this is to um, let you know how I get to remember me. It's, it's, it's been hard in every angle because my job was to empower people to fight for a better future and, uh, and giving them that hope, right? And now where there's no hope around you and you see everything collapsing, what do you give them? We're six months in. The economic and health impact for low-wage workers across the nation is going to be long-lasting. There's now a sense of what we were fighting for, protections on paid family leave, and for workers because they're putting their lives at risk. Maybe this pandemic will force us to plan for a time when the millions of people in the service industry no longer have jobs. What will they do? It's a big question, and now is the time for answers. <laughs>